Hey, what up guys? Welcome to the vlog. It is uh, January 4th, Wednesday. Home from school. It wasn't fun, but it wasn't bad. It is 6.11 p.m. and I'm uploading a tech video. Yeah, so I kind of took a couple weeks off uh, from the tech channel for the holidays and New Year's and Christmas. And I didn't go back to school till today, so I figured today would be a good time to jump, to jump back into that. I'm at 3,530 subscribers, uh, which is a little more than I expected, so that's good news. Um, Today's like 34 outside. It was sunny most of the day, and of course now it's nighttime, and we still have all the snow. I got a call from Brandon, the man I've been working with at Dave Walter BMW for the car. They gave me an update. They put that um, pump in the fuel system and the fuel tank, and the pump works fine. However, there's an escape valve that uh, after a couple of minutes of being pressurized, it checks the pressure. If it lost any, it knows there's a leak. If it didn't, then it's time to let the pressure out and there's a valve that just opens up and poof, out goes the pressurized air. And since the pump hasn't been working for a while, the valve is frozen. Most BMWs, actually every BMW except mine, has a serviceable valve, which means you can open it up and just clean it out or lubricate it or replace a solenoid or whatever part controls how the valve works. Well, the M5, it's so buried in there, um, they could take it out, send it somewhere and have it fixed. By the time it's done, it's about $75, actually $79, he told me, more than just replacing the valve. So I'm going to replace the valve as well. They ordered it today, Wednesday. It'll be in Friday, um, along with um, an engine coolant temperature um, sensor that died in like 09 or something. That was only 40 bucks, so I ordered that. 40 installed, 40 for the part, 80 bucks. However, uh, that stupid pressure escape valve is like 4.30, so I ordered that too. That'll be in on, on Friday. I should get it back Friday. They're going to do the plugs and the O2 sensors tomorrow. They're going to run the stuff through the fuel system tomorrow, Thursday, um, as well as Friday morning. Have that done. Hopefully, I'll be able to pick it up Friday. I'll drive it for a little bit, see what comes back, if anything, and then we'll take it in, have it reassessed, and go from there. I talked to him for probably 15 or 20 minutes, and he explained that the light's been on since 07, as I told you, or 05. I don't remember. It's been on for a long time. And the previous owner took immaculate care of the car, but he looked at these just sensors and these things that really weren't important to the function or health or safety of the car. They were just for the stupid, erratic BMW computer systems. He looked at those and he thought, you know what, this car at the time is five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. I'm not going to worry about it. So now I'm the one that is anal enough to want the light to go off. So now I'm stuck with having to pay what's going to be four to five thousand dollars of replacing all of the old computer parts with the new stuff that they have worked the bugs, hopefully, out of over the past ten years. And uh, looks like I'm going to be the one to restore it to the condition where it should be. I had this conversation with the guy Brandon and the previous rep I worked with a year ago and up until six months ago, um, Roland. I've talked with both of them. I say, is the car worth putting this money into? Is this important? Should I even be bothering with this? Is it to the point where I'm going to be in here every couple weeks and I should just sell it and get something more trouble free? And naturally working there, they're going to want me to come in and spend time and spend money with them. But honestly, I don't think the people at the BMW dealer are out to take my money and are out to charge me. Um, I know most people think that, oh, never go to the dealer for work, they're going to screw you. Well. These guys, they don't get commission off the sales they make. They're very upfront, straight, and everything I can tell, they're very honest people that are nice to work with. Um, and they said that, yes, this is a classic car. Yes, it has a lot of miles on it, but physically, it's been taken very good care of. There's not an inch of rust on it. Um, the value of the car is projected to increase. Um, right now, it's pretty low. It's around fourteen to 16000 but I only paid twelve for it, and I've put a lot in it. But uh, so I am going to keep keeping it up. And these things are not just things that are happening every day something goes wrong. These have built up for five years. So I'm fix I'm correcting seven years worth of computer malfunctions in hopefully a couple weeks here. So please understand that and don't tell me the car is falling apart. Because pieces of it may be, but the whole thing is not just self-destructing because that's 160,000 miles on it. Having said that, my grandfather's Buick, it's a 2004 LeSabre. He's got 57,000 miles on it. He's put twice the money that I've put into the BMW in fixing things, not just repainting the hood and stuff that I want to do because it was scratched and nicked up from road rash. He's put twice the amount of money in that stupid Buick. He's had two sets of rims on it. They keep rusting and then they, they rust so much that the tires leak. He had to replace four tires and four rims on it. The EGR valve keeps freezing up on him. He doesn't drive it hard. He's never had it over 2,000 RPM. Maybe that's his problem with the carbon, right? But 
Never buy an American car, guys. All they do is fall apart at 57,000 miles. His is worth worse than mine with three and a half times the mileage. So anyways, as I usually do, I just spent way too much time talking. It's now 6.16, and I'm going to have pizza in a little bit, and then Kenan said he wanted to come over. I have no homework, so I'm just going to get that video up, do some emails, and um, that's it. Eat my dinner, and we will talk to you in a little bit. Must be nice to sit around all day and sleep and not have a bill to pay or one thing to worry about. And he has nothing to say for himself. Nothing better than this to waste time before dinner comes and before the upload's done. So I'm on season 7, episode 11, and I've seen everyone before this. So I think I've only got one more season to go before I'm caught up. All right, it's 11.30. I just did a lot of emails. I got about 123 done and about 50 left. Um, so I'm going to do this later. But now, as I said, it's 11.30, so I want to get this edited and begin the uploading process so I can get a shower, feed this thing, and uh, that's it. So tomorrow's Thursday, short day, as you know, uh, 9.30 to 1.25, so that'll be nice. Um, Taylor's going to, we're going to do something after school since I don't have a car till Friday. I'll just go with him and we'll do something. So um, I'll talk to you tomorrow at probably about 1.30. Good night, guys.